In this beginner's tutorial, I'll show you how to make this very simple model of a monkey man using a cube for a body, cylinders for arms and legs, and the built-in monkey head. I'm going to go to the view menu, and I'm going to toggle quad view. That divides the 3D window into four, a top view, front view, right view, and a camera perspective. I'm going to delete the default cube. I could click the delete button here, or I can press delete on the keyboard and confirm. I'm going to the add menu, mesh, monkey. I'm going to zoom in using the mouse wheel in the front, top and right view. I'm going to position the cursor about here, press R on the keyboard for rotate and rotate the monkey's head through 90 degrees. I want to move the monkey's head. The keyboard shortcut for moving an object is G for grab. I'm going to position the cursor about here and press G on the keyboard and then I can move the monkey's head. I'm going to put the monkey's head about there and click to release. I'm going to the add menu and I'm going to add mesh cube. In the right view I'm positioning the cursor about here and I'm pressing S on the keyboard for scale and as I move the mouse we scale the cube up or down. If I now press Y on the keyboard, we stretch and shrink only in the Y direction. The green line is the Y axis, and I'm going to shrink down to about there. Then I'm coming into the front view, and I'm going to press S for scale again. And this time I'm going to press Z or Z to only scale in that direction, and I'm going to stretch it to about there. I'm going to go to the Add menu and I'm going to add Mesh Cylinder. I'm going to press G on the keyboard for grab and move that to the side. I'm going to press S for scale and shrink that down. Now I'm going to press S for scale again, but this time followed by Z or Z and I'm going to stretch that. And I'm going to press S for scale again to shrink it down just a little bit. I'm now going to duplicate the cylinder and the keyboard shortcut for that is hold down the shift key and press D for duplicate. Move the duplicate to the other side, press R to rotate and rotate, G to grab and put that there. Select the other arm, R to rotate on the keyboard and G to grab and move that to there. I'm going to add another cylinder, add mesh cylinder. I'm going to press G on the keyboard to grab and move it to the side. I'm going to press S on the keyboard for scale to shrink that down. I'm going to press S followed by Z or Z and stretch that to make a leg. S to scale again, just shrink it down just a little bit. Now to duplicate, hold down shift and press D and put the duplicate there and G to grab and put the other leg there. I'm going to select the monkey head and press G on the keyboard for grab and move that down. I want to add some colour so the button I need to do that is the material button. If you click the plus to add a new material and I'm going to name the material brown Click on the diffuse colour and I'm going to use the colour wheel to find an orange colour and if we make orange darker we get a brown colour. I'm going to select the body and add a new material which I'm going to call green and I'm going to click on the diffuse colour and move the colour wheel to a green. I'm going to select an arm and I'm going to add a new material which I'm going to call red. I'm going to click the diffuse colour and move the colour wheel to a red. I'm going to select the other arm. Now I can click this button to list all our materials and I can pick up the red material again. I'm going to select a leg, add a new material which I'm going to call blue. I'm going to click the diffuse colour and move the colour wheel to a blue colour. I'm going to select the other leg, again display the list of materials and pick up blue from the list. If we look at the outliner window, we see that we've got a cube for the body, cylinders for the arms and legs, and the monkey head. I want to join these all together, 
but the join is very permanent so before I join I'm going to save as and I'm going to save as man tut 8 man tutorial 8 so make sure before you do a join you save now to join all the parts together I hold down shift and select all the parts and then I click the join button and if you look now we've just got one object it takes the name of the last object selected which is monkey um, but I'll change the name to monkey man that's the end of the tutorial I'll put the finished file at my website freemovies.co.uk at the blender channel there thanks for watching and goodbye and if you want to know how to orbit around your model like this it's hold down the middle mouse button and drag